the whole thing wobbing. Today, guys, we have golden tickets released, two to go over. Keep in mind, these drop tomorrow morning with Ultimate Legends at 10.30. Now, I do want to give a shout-out to Justin Sarge for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel. Turn notification bell on and comment down below, Noti Gang. Also, if you guys have not already checked out Underdog Fantasy, we have been on a tear with the NBA playoffs. Last night, we had over $800 in Ws. Absolutely massive night. And if you guys check out Underdog Fantasy right now using code ZERK, you will get up to $250 in bonus funds and a .5 special for tonight. Follow me over on Twitter. My NBA picks are posted up right now. All right, guys. So let's take a look here at the golden tickets dropping tomorrow. Now, I do want to mention you guys, if you did not go watch my video I made this morning, I highly recommend you guys go and watch it. I actually talked about all of the confirmed and rumored golden tickets that we have potentially coming here. We don't even know how many GCs we have in total, but I will let you guys know. Two of the four players I'm about to go over right now, I actually had in that video as rumored golden tickets, and they're right here. Calvin, you're looking right at him. I talked about him, so make sure you guys go ahead and check that video out if you want to know about the other potential GTs uh, that we could see here. But starting off, outside linebacker Calvin, which by the way, these are not NFL player created, which is very interesting to me because the deadline for people to actually go ahead and submit their golden ticket form, I believe is in like five days. So it looks like just the people that got their forms done, submitted them first they're getting their gts first i guess uh just kind of up to ea on what order they want to release them uh but in terms of like all these yeah these are actually player created ones so starting off outside linebacker calvin johnson as i told you guys earlier today this is a great pick uh his man in zone likely is going to be 99 okay he's likely gonna have 99 man and 99 zone but he has 99 speed 98 excel uh 87 strength they didn't boost the tackling which i find interesting he has 91 tackling 99 play rec 99 block shed 99 power move and 99 finesse move so it looks like whoever made the outside linebacker calvin they didn't boost the power move or the fin or they didn't boost the tackling they chose to boost the power move and the finesse move in terms of upgrades on this card uh i I believe when i looked at it earlier today and i made that video i mentioned that tackling block should impact block those should definitely be touched there and then they could do like power move finesse move if they wanted to because the man in zone is likely going to be 99 but i mean hey this is going to be an all-around amazing card honestly this is going to be an insane user card for sure outside linebacker calvin and he's going to be able to pass rush with 99 power move 99 finesse move but obviously with calvin johnson i mean you want to use her on the card. As for the other cards, guys, we have the middle linebacker, Patrick Willis. So two absolutely amazing user cards here. Now, I wish they would have given him 99 zone coverage, right? I wish they made him 99 zone, but he has 98, 99 speed, 98 acceleration, 93 strength, 99 tackling, 94 play rank, 99 block shed, 99 hit power, and 98 zone coverage as well again amazing user so patrick willis outside linebacker calvin great great drop right here for user cards without a doubt now of course when it comes to these linebackers and in general the golden ticket players what well, we already know they do have x factors right they're gonna have x factors so like patrick willis you'll probably be able to put like avalanche x factor on him if you want whatever but all we really hope is that he does get tackle supreme and uh lurk artist mid zone ko i prefer, personally prefer lurk artist mid zone ko tackle supreme if he's able to get it for one ap cool you can throw that on him as well this should be a really 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 good middle linebacker user as well then after that guys we have mike allstott talking about this card earlier today with the guys and then the guy who actually made the mike allstott comments in that video so shout out to him uh if you're watching the video right now your card's dropping tomorrow mike allstott 99 speed 96 strength 99 awareness 99 carrying uh does have 99 run block 99 impact block 92 lead block 87 catch so I mean, this is the best fullback in the game, right? He's going to be insane. I'd imagine if they made him right, he gets honorary lineman for zero AP, right? So he's going to be just an absolute demon of a blocking fullback. Uh, I know a lot of people may not care about it too much because it is a fullback, but if you remember how good, like, the William Perry fullback was golden ticket, which I know that I mentioned in my video earlier today, I couldn't remember the last time we got a fullback golden ticket, William Perry GT, that card was crazy, uh, as a blocker, Mike Allstott should be just as dominant. So, Mike Allstott, this is gonna be a really, really good fullback, blocking fullback that is, I mean, hey, if you wanna run with him, I'm sure he's got good trucking and all that, break tackle, you already know, and then the final one is Dalton Kincaid, uh, I'll be honest, I, I wish whoever made the Kincaid would have boosted the speed because speed actually was an option to boost this year for the first time ever. You could get two boosts and you could boost up the speed. 
So, I don't remember what his speed was on his last card. And actually, I just looked, guys, and he has 95 speed on his 95 overall draft card. So, actually, I don't even blame the guy that made the Kincaid. It's actually on EA. They kind of just did him dirty, to be honest with you. But 97 speed, 99 strength, uh, 95 catch, 95 catch grab, 97 spectacular catch. Robert Ring is 97 and 94, and then 90 run block. So, I'd imagine they boosted, obviously, the run block. Hopefully, the impact block you know, I guess juke move, break tackle, whatever. Uh, interested to see what they boosted on the Dalton Kincaid, but those are the golden tickets dropping tomorrow. Dalton Kincaid, Mike Allstott, gonna be an amazing blocking fullback. Uh, the best probably for the rest of the year, obviously. And then Patrick Willis and outside linebacker Calvin going to be a monster duo at linebacker. They definitely did the guy pretty dirty with only giving Dalton Kincaid plus two speed on a plus four overall. Like I said, you could choose speed to be boosted, but you don't have to choose speed to be boosted for them to actually you know give you a decent upgrade so they kind of just did that card dirty the rest of them though i think are absolutely amazing i just again ea I, I said this all year long and you guys have heard me say it non-stop why do we not get the list of abilities the night before? Because you can look at this Calvin Johnson card and be like, yeah, this card looks amazing. But if he comes out tomorrow and he has like edge threat elite and double or nothing as his zero AP abilities, you're going to think the card is terrible where people really want to make those preparations the night before when they see these cards to if they're going to get the card. So don't really understand that. Uh, but these golden tickets, Calvin Johnson pending the abilities because no matter what, although he has 99 power move and 99 finesse move, with only 91 tackling, which does worry me because I don't know what they boosted aside from that. He does have the 99 block shed, so I believe they boosted that on him. I'm just really curious. They definitely boosted the block shed, I believe, power move, finesse move. After that, why would you not choose to do tackling? I'd imagine maybe Pursuit or something, and then we'll see what the other boost is going to be. Definitely, in my opinion, a 10 out of 10, depending on the abilities, and uh, we'll see about that. Patrick Willis, great card, 99 speed, block, shed, hit, power, zone, all that really, really good. Again, just depends on the abilities, but I do believe he should have good abilities. Mid zone KO for zero, Lurk Artist for zero, and we're set. Tackle Supreme for one AP or even zero. That would still be really good there, although personally, I would much rather uh, have the mid zone KO and also the Lurk Artist for zero. Mike Allstop, as I said, amazing blocking fullback, best blocking fullback for the rest of the year with 99 speed. He's huge, 99 run block, 99 impact block, uh, amazing. And then Don Kincaid, I feel bad for this guy. I feel like EA just really did him dirty. And I, I like NK cards. They're actually really, really good cards too. So that's definitely unfortunate. That being said though, guys, we actually do have Ultimate Legends coming out tomorrow morning, as I said, at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. Expect those reveals at 7. I believe this is it for Golden Tickets dropping tomorrow. And then moving forward, EA did say we're only going to have one release of Golden Tickets a week. I don't know what day. I don't know if that's on Tuesdays or if that's going to be on Saturdays with Ultimate Legends. I'm hoping it's on Tuesday. So we actually get a little bit of content throughout the week instead of just Thursday and Saturday releases because currently that's kind of how stuff is slated out. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you just drop a like video. And of course, that sub button down below. Let me know what you guys think about these golden tickets. Absolutely amazing in my opinion. Uh, UL reveals at seven. Might have a video, might not. Follow me over on Twitter. Keep you guys updated. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.